Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Noah Woods near Ashted. Uh, I've never been here before. I'm actually heading down to Headley to have a quick look at the church again. I've been there before. I love it. Um, welcome to Noah Wood. Educational Nature Reserve. Visitors by appointment only. Uh, this car park can be locked at any time. Can it really? Can it really? Access to the centre up the steps. Well, we're not going to go there today. I just stopped here quickly because I wanted to go over to uh, Headley. I'm on the way back from Mickleham where I've been shooting a video. Um, and uh, it's a lovely warm day in mid October. And uh, oh, there's no one here anyway. So, what we'll do, we're going to head down to Headley, have a look at the church, let's see what other adventures uh, present themselves. Here we are in Headley, just near Headley Heath, National Trust property, right, Headley Heath, and we're by the Cop Inn, I've been in there before, so I'm just here to have a look around, uh, I've been in many times, but it's a lovely day, so uh, let's explore. We're going over there to the church, which has done videos from before I know, but it's a lovely church. So we're going to go have a look. There's a lovely footpath down here actually that goes right down to the bottom. Which we're not going to explore today, but I was just quite intrigued to uh, where it went. But we are going to the church, so we're going the wrong way. We're going back that way. So here we are at St Mary's in Headley. Which I have to say, I have been to before. We're going to have a little look around. This is a sacred ground. Please respect it. Of course we will. Who wouldn't? I love this and I've covered it in another video I know I know I know but the lovely grotto here at Headley this was uh, built out of the old church before the Victorian church was here and it's fantastic it really is fantastic it's one of sorry little gems I think Headley's really odd. It's like, I wouldn't even say it's even a village. It's just like a very small hamlet, but you've got a church here. It's a Victorian church, as I, as I said, but there was a church here on the site beforehand. Should we go and see if it's open? Very dark, I'm afraid I can't find the light switch. <laughs> that seems to be the sort of the thing of my videos when I do this. But it's um I'll get to a bit where it's a bit lighter. Yeah. They probably have a service in here this morning. As everyone knows, I'm not a big lover of Victorian churches. Um not to do with the, the beauty of them, I just they haven't got the history, although there was a church here on the site beforehand. Nothing remains apart from the rubble, the stonework that's been used for the um, for the grotto. You got a new bit here. I think that was being um, built when I was here last, a couple of years ago. So here we've got Headley Heath nearby. God, I'm in such shadows. Sorry about this. Uh, we've got Headley Heath nearby National Trust. 
Yeah, it's lovely. Why do I like churches so much? I'm not religious whatsoever. I'm like almost, I'm an atheist. But um, although I do believe in higher consciousness without the religion attached to it. Um, but I'm so attached to churches, really am. Well, we'll go outside where it's lighter. How about that? Because it's, uh, it's just too dark. Usually when I leave a church, I usually find the light switch just as I leave. But in this occasion, I don't know where it is. So. back out into the lovely graveyard. Oh, someone's left their uh, jacket there. Okay. Maybe they got too hot. <laughs> Anyone with the name Thomas Dibble has got to be cool in my books. Thomas Dibble. I like your name. I like your name. <laughs> and here's a mausoleum. William Stebbing, 1831 to 1926. And his wife, a younger daughter, and eldest son. Lovely mausoleum. This is why overgrown when I was here last. Well, this bit's a bit overgrown, of course, but. Um, it's all overgrown last time I was here. Yeah, lovely mausoleum. There's something very beautiful about mausoleums and also a little bit creepy at the same time. Let's go through the gate. Oh, little biplane going over. Get stinging nettles in here. So, um, there you go, a little bit of footage from Headley. A bit of extra content. It's a weird word, content, isn't it? I know my friend Richard Vobes uh, criticises it as well, and I sort of get what, you, what he means. Content. I'm making a video, you know? The constant hum, by the way, the M25, not far from here in Headley. Epsom Downs is just over there with the race course. Yes, yeah, it's, um, it's nice. Some little some horses in this field. Um, so I can't believe it's mid-October and it's, all right, it's, fr it's freshening up a little bit now, but it was really warm earlier on. So we're lucky in the southeast, you know, we've got we can go walking or exploring all year round. We don't get much snow. We don't hardly get any snow in the southeast anymore. Remember when I was a kid, there was loads of it. Um, during sort of January, February, we get very little now. Some lovely horses in the field. So yeah, just steeple in the background. I hope you like this little video. I don't know how much worth it is really. I'll tell you what we'll do before we go. I'm going to walk down this little um, alleyway there, little trackway there, which I've done before, of course. It's on the other videos. And it brings out by the back of the church, um, which is quite nice. Let's have a look at that. So this leads round the back of the church. There's a lovely walk you can do round here, which I've done, oh God, three or four times. And it leads you back to the church from Epsom Downs. It's an Epsom Downs. I think you can find it on Fancy Free Walks. Epsom Downs and Headley Circular. Lovely. 
and you won't see it on the GoPro, you won't see it, but right there in the distance is that there London. London town. But we're going in here. Yeah, when I was here before they were doing all the work and it's what they were building, a little outhouse, a little office area for the for the church. Which I was at just now inside. Oh, this little beacon here, fire beacon. Um, it says here, this beacon was erected in 2002 by Headley Village to celebrate the Golden Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II. Obviously, we lost the Queen recently, which still feels very surreal. I'm not a royalist whatsoever, but you do think some people are just immortal. You do think the Queen was immortal, but no one is really. Unless, well, our consciousness goes on, so maybe it does. So there we are from Headley, a little wander around. It's been fun. Oh, a bit of wind now. So I hope you're having a great day and I look forward to seeing you next time. And as I walk past, the, uh, the coat is still there. And we'll see you next time. Take care, folks.